There I was, standing in the frozen food aisle trying to decide between a tub of Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream or a pack of fruit ice lollies. There was one clear winner in my eyes, but I also wanted to be good. Let's face it, living on a diet of tortilla chips and hummus was just not sustainable and the orange ice lollies would count as one of my five a day. I wasn't sure whether that was true, but it was the only thing keeping me from leaving with two tubs of Ben and Jerry's hidden under my arms. I didn't want to be judged by the people only here for the fresh fruit and veg. You know the ones who wear their active wear to go shopping in, who probably just finished their Instagram charity nominated 5k run but still look radiant. God, I hate them. No, I don't. They're fine. I didn't mean that. Who knows how long I was standing there for? It felt like hours trying to make this crucial decision. I thought to myself, is this really what my life has become? Then I felt a chill, a momentary panic as I felt this presence closing in on me, turning. I thought, this is that embarrassing moment where I get thrown out of Morrison's for loitering. But he wasn't wearing a uniform. Let's face it, he wasn't wearing much at all. My heartbeat started to accelerate. His eyes were beautiful, a piercing blue. My heart is thumping now, it's getting faster. His hair is wavy like silk. My chest is pounding. Was I, was, was I still breathing? He was tall like a statue. He smelt like soap and, and something else. Sorry, do you mind if I? Coffee. His voice was deep, muffled slightly behind his surgical mask. Can I just? Oh, sorry, I move away, desperately trying to maintain an acceptable social distance. I didn't know where to look. My whole body was shaking now. Was it him or was I just been standing next to the freezer for too long? Thanks. I'm fixed to the spot. I can't move. I just watch him. My mouth opens slightly, but no words come out. Like a goldfish. He smiles. At least I think he does. It's hard to tell with his surgical mask on. I feel like an idiot. What if he's my soulmate? I should say something before he goes. I watch him disappear behind the frozen peas. I should say something. No, he's probably married, I tell myself. Maybe I should follow him. No, not a good idea. Just be, get your ice cream and go. Be a rational human being for once. I stare back at the freezer. It's decision time, I tell myself. I open the freezer door.